shade the ladder very shortly and will also show the weather. Todd Smith is the referee. Ashley Klein's in the bunker. Just waiting for this game to get set. And it's all underway here. At Stadium Australia, South Sydney will, will receive the ball and go left to right. And so they'll be tackled 20 metres out from their own line. So now they go from dummy half through Cook. He's trying to get Gummer Camille for offside. He has. That's a penalty there to, um, to South Sydney. Well, Tui was penalised. And so straight away, they're going to find the try line. Or well, the sideline, in fact. It's not much of a crowd here tonight, but beautiful conditions out there. No rain in sight on a sort of like a spring night out there. Oh, that's a good shot there on cheek air from a suffer Solomona. Now Sean Kepi. He's really come along, I think, from the start of the year. He's had a little bit more game time. He's starting to get in, getting the worth out of uh, South Sydney. White and going for the line. 25 out. They're all lining up to the blind side. They come back to the open. Cook. Carver Tuggy. Walker out the back down to Richie Kenner. Gets it out wide to Jacob Guy Guy. What a season he's had in first grade. At 28 years of age, he scored seven tries for the South Sydney Club. Walker. Carver Tuggy. They come out the back. Whiten. Gray. Gray. He's like a little he's like a little hair there. He's only nine metres out. Last tackle. A little kick in there by Jack Whiten. And Warbrick gets back of the field to play. So, no score here. Here at Stadium Australia, if you'd like to have your say, leave it in the chat. This is King now hitting it up. So, the Melbourne Storm just working out their own territory now with Trent Valerio, as I just mentioned the matchup before. He's going to have a big game tonight. Working hard in the middle of the field. Gama Kamifa. Playing the ball now. They go to the blind side on the last. Driving kick downfield. Here comes Jai Gray back in the head gear. Back to the 30. Pull down that time by King. So a very young back line in this um, South City line. As I mentioned, young Fletcher Myers, the Newcastle Junior on one wing. You've got Gaga on the other wing. You've got Ken who hasn't played a lot of first grade. And Tane Milne is on the other centres. So, and Jai, great fullback. So, Whiten and Walker are going to have to really lead them around as they go to the blind two through Walker. Murray with a quick play of the ball. That's what he does so well. Walker. Kamatangi. Whiten, they're scheming something to the left. Gray. Oh, it was a little bit of a delayed pass. Milne flops it at the back. He does that so well, Tane Milne. He always creates something up on the offload. Last tackle now for the South Sydney side. They've been at this end of the park. So far in this game, the bomb goes up. Oh, it's been. I'm sure that's a, I'm sure that's a Falcon. And a Suffer Solomon gets the rebound. So they tried a little kick there on that occasion. And it nearly came off there for South Sydney. If you love this video anytime, press on that like button. As you see King play the ball. Delario follows up once again. Don't worry, we're calling his name out tonight, even if he's wearing the number 12 jersey. Hughes out wide. Pappenhaus on the inside. Big Dells of Soffa Solomon is starting tonight in the jersey 13. So we're going to the last. Thanks for your comments, Leo. There goes the bob. It's a deep bob. Gray has done a pretty good job since Latrell Mitchell's been out with injury. We don't have Latrell be back this year, but Shaq's playing on the bench tonight. A wide pass there to Walker from dummy half. And Jacob Guy Guy shrugs out a couple of tackles before he's put down. Here's Richie Kenner. Makes some handy meters. 
I stand the blight. He goes Cook. Oh, he tried to combine with Walker there, but he got in his way and he gets pushed back as well, Damien Cook. Well, he hasn't lost his pace at 33 years of age. Walker. Kyle Matangi now. Last tackle. They're coming to the left with Jack White. And it's very handy. We've got two left footers at the side, but that kick has gone way too deep on this occasion. Well, he's going to kick that back towards the city. It was that big. And they're going to start back on the 20-meter line. Zero tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Well, it's been a good start for South Sydney. They've been at the right end of the field. But Melbourne at least have withhold it so far. Now Meaty taking some handy meters up towards the halfway. Very good run there by Meaty. And now Munzer running with the ball. Plays it on the south 40. Hughes. Cover can be for the mates of handy meters. It's only the fourth tackle. They're on the South City 30 meter line. Now the Lario. Well, they're up the opposition 20. Well, they've made 60 metres in five tackles. Well, that's what seven tackles could do. Last tackle. They're going to run on the last. Hughes gets it out wide now. Meany gets it out wide. And there's the first try of the match. First try. And it will go to William Warbrick. Four points to nil. Well, that was too simple in the end. Beautiful play. It all just opened up. Hughes, long cutout pass. It attracted the young William Myers in. He didn't trust his set on the inside. And then Nick Meaning found William Warbrick, who finishes it off beautifully. And this former rugby sevens winger, the New Zealander, goes in for its ninth try. Simple play. Hughes read it beautifully. Nice cutout pass. A one on one miss there for young Myers there on Nick Meaning. And then William Warbrick runs around to improve the position. So, Melbourne draw first blood here, here at Stadium Australia. And so now an easy conversion coming up. For Nick Meany himself. Who's up there with the top point scoring this year. Obviously, Jermaine Osaka is number one. But don't worry, he hasn't let you down, Nick Meany. 80% goal kicking this year. And it was him who set up the try. It was his final pass that gave William Warbrick another four-pointer this year. And so South Sydney are behind by four points to nil. That's not what this that's not what they're looking for there through Ben Hornby. So here he comes, Nick Meany. 15 meters out. Right over the black dot. So six points to deal here for the, for the uh, Melbourne store. So don't forget also we've got our footy tipping out at the moment. That is also on the socials. There are plenty of polls and quizzes also on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the links in the description for those. And also we will be having some full match replay. Some full match replays as well. And match highlights after this one too. So, it's a good start here for the Melbourne Storm. And it's the big forwards that are making the inroads at the moment through King and Asafa Solomona. And obviously Gamma Gamifa. That's the key tonight for the Melbourne Storm. They're just rolling for their work early. He's the Suffer Solomon now. Pulled in by three South City defenders. Back to Kamakamifa. The book ends. March of the upfield here. Murray pulls in the ground. From Derby half goes Harry Grant with a kick. It's not a bad one. It turns to South City. Young winger around here. Fletcher buys. He's going to have to come back. And a great kick chase too there. Well, that's Melbourne. At their very best. They're so professional at what they do. It's going to really test these youngsters around. But they have given away another penalty here, Melbourne. Too over-enthusiastic. Todd Smith is waved. He's waved them back onside. Harry Grant just having a bit of a query in, he, in his headgear tonight. 
we don't usually see with a headgear on Harry Grant, but he's donning it tonight here against our city. So, for South City tonight, they've it's just do or die, really. If they don't win tonight, that just will be their season gone because they're too far behind on points, which I'll show you the latter in a minute. But we'll just get back to the action as Sean Kepi plays it inside Melbourne Territory. Komatangi just passed out the back. Six more tackles here to South Sydney. So obviously the Melbourne defence was offside. Murray plays the ball. Cook gets it on. And David Mulally. 50 games tonight for the youngster. An up and coming South Sydney front row of the future. Cole Matangi. Now to Walker. Gray. Gray breaks one. Dragged down from behind. Quick play of the ball. The referee said he lost it. It was sloppy. So it's an error there against South Sydney. Well, it was a costly one. And he does this so well, Jai Gray. He's very elusive. But on that occasion, he just forgot, forgot the fundamentals. He got to play the ball cleanly there. So two penalties at least to South were in this game, but they've made two errors as well. So they're counteracting themselves at the moment. And so just showing you the ladder at this stage. So this will be the key thing. So obviously you can see there Melbourne are clear on 36 points. And that's a B. It will come back to the action. Sure, Kemp is come up a beauty there. On Grant Anderson. Now come a Kamifa. Held up by two. Man, but what a shot there by Sean Kempi. Well, I, don't, I think that uh, that's actually Jack Howe got smashed. He'll fill his ribs tomorrow. Monster. Inside South Territory. Last tackle now. Here's Hughes. There goes the Bob. It's not a bad place, Bob. It just makes South City have to work out the corner. Here goes Gray. Doesn't give him too much room there. So just coming back to the ladder here. So you can see South City there are on 20 points at the moment. So obviously they have to win their next three games. But that's all dependent on... Results going their way. So losing tonight with four rounds to go is going to be very, very hard for South Sydney. So I, I just, if I, as I said, it's do or die clash here for South Sydney. Not a lot of fans here tonight, but the bar will be out in force anyway. Doesn't many how many people are here at Stadium Australia. Sean Kempi playing the ball now on the last tackle. A driving kick down further from White and Pappenhusen gets the ball but gives it straight away to William Warbrick. Tries to get around Richard Kenner. He finally gets him. Just short of the third man line. Now, Colvin Tony's in a little bit of trouble here. He's just limping there. Hopefully he can stretch that out. He's, he's quite an impactful player here for the South City side. Meaty playing the ball. Valerio. That's a good run. Here they go. Grant goes straight at dummy half. Gets it to drive Hughes. Oh, great tackle from Jack White. And he had to make the tackle. This is the last. Pavanusen gets it on quicker. A little stack kicking behind the line. It's too deep. Too deep. So we've got a 20 meter restart. So we start with zero tackle there for South City. Well, that was a bad kick to end a good set there by Melbourne. He'd like to take that one back there, Ryan Pappenhusen. He doesn't usually kick the football. Well, Melbourne look really hot at the moment. South City just can't keep up with their pace at this stage. Murray. Solid hit there by Karen Murray and Sean Bloor. Walker gets it on to Kalbatay. They go through their back line. Moves and Whiten. And Cheekham is dragged down quickly there by Hughes. Back in the middle of the field of Kalbatay. 
Tries a little bit of footwork there. Law got him to Grammar coming, Kamifa. Couple tackles to go now. Walker stabs it in behind the line. Pappenhuser takes it on the first bounce. Gets up towards the 20 meter line. And, and he gets back 25 out from his own line. Melbourne Storm now just working out of their own territory here. Well, the backs will have to do a little bit of work here. The forwards are just getting a little bit tired at this stage. That's a good charge for Asafa Solomon who was back there. Howarth. He's been involved during the action. That's Anderson apologised playing the ball. Grant scheming out a dummy half once again. He's been given a lot of room to move there so far. Well, he loves running out a dummy half and he's been given a lot of room by South Sydney. Last tackle now. There goes the bomb from Jerome Hughes. It's been taken there by Anderson. It's got it on the ground. Now the referee's going to come back and he's going to say it's a knock-on against the Melbourne Storm team. So, it's a handover. So... So it's a penalty again here to um, South Sydney. So they've bought them out of their own territory here, the Melbourne Storm. It's only six points to nil. One try at least so far to William Warbrick. Crow Bell won't be happy with that. In the nearly flawless performance. Now Cameron got caught, got caught up in that tackle there. I don't think some of the South Sydney players were happy with that tackle. Kepi will play the ball. He's Malali. A lot of future stars here in this South City side. And a bit of a poor year for, him for this 2024. Ketter out wide. He'll play the football. They'll come back the other way. Cook. Kalbatagi. He decides to go forward on this occasion. And this will be the last 20 minutes out for the Melbourne line. They come to the right. Walker puts a little kick in. That looked a bit too deep too. It was. Well, the kickers just haven't got their bearings right so far. That's, a th that's the third kick that's gone over the dead ball line. And William Warbeck's made a terrific run from the tap. 15 short of halfway. Hughes breaks out of one. He's still going to Rome Hughes. And now it's a penalty for a high tackle against Michael Cheekamp. So that's the first period of the night for Melbourne. Wow. Jerome Hughes and William Warbrick make some good busts there. And they're just a bit of a, a careless tackle. It wasn't that bad, but it was a penalty. Well, South City should be further in front with the possession they've had. But Melbourne Storm are just dominating with the with tucking the ball under her arm at the moment. And that's why they're in front of the scoreboard. There could be two tries in front here. Grant goes wider, Munster. Now come a Kamifa. 19 metres out from the line. Opportunity here for South Sydney. Grant. Munster inside ball now. Trent Lillario. Four metres out from the line. Chance to go back to back here for Melbourne. Here's Sean Bloor now. They're three metres out from the line. Will they go back the other way here, Melbourne? Yes, they do. Grant. Munster gets it combined with Hughes. Lolly long ball from Pappenhaus and intercepted by Myers. He's away. Pappenhaus is chasing it down. Does Myers have the pace? I think he's got a head start on him. And that will be his first ever try in the NRL. Well, what a moment to remember for the Newcastle Junior. Fletcher Meyer scores. And he's got South City back in this ball game. Well, they've had all the possession this first half. Well, Melbourne 
We're looking to score at that end of the park. The, the numbers to the right. Hughes got it on the Papadouzen. But Myers was in between there, Nick Beanie and William Warbrick. It looked like William Warbrick was going to score again. But Myers just had a head start on Sonic the Hedgehog, Ryan Papadouzen. And he sprinted away 90 metres to get South's first try. Well, don't worry, Ryan Papadouzen was going to get him. He was running out of legs there, Fletcher Myers. But he's gone all the way. And now a conversion out wide to level this all up. Well, the biggest problem that South City have got now is they haven't got a recognised goal kicker in their team, obviously, because Latrell Mitchell's out of the team with that injury. But what a proud moment for Fletcher Myers. And now he's got his team back. That That's a moment he's farewell and himself will remember for the rest of his life. Well, he's spirited away from Pappen, who's, and who's not a bad... Now, he's actually going to kick for goal here. Fletcher Myers. So he's going to convert his own try here. And now let's see how far he's gone back here. Well, he's gone back 22 metres out. He's right on the side just to improve the angle. He wants to make sure he can level this all up here. He's on his preferred side here. He's hooked it to the right, so... No success there for Fletcher Myers after scoring a try. So six points to four. So it's a good it's good for Melbourne Storm to be in front six. So it's good to South City get some points on the board there because I felt that the possession that they've had deserved to, to deserve to have some points on the board. So six points to four. You say this is probably a boring game of football if you're just looking at the scoreboard, but it's not a bad game of rugby league at all for a side that's down the bottom of the ladder playing a team that's competition leaders. It's not a bad effort by South Sydney. The question is, can they go through the whole 80 minutes and do it? They've got some class missing in their back line. Obviously, no Latrell Mitchell and no Alex Johnson as well. As they tack this left-hand side now here through Tane Mill, they're really going to miss that speedster tonight, Alex Johnson. We can really finish off tries, but they've still got enough talent out there to win this football game. The question is, do they believe? Last tackle now here for South Sydney. They've made 50 metres. There goes the bot. Taken there by Warbrick, who scored Melbourne's only try so far. Now, 21 and a bit minutes gone. Both sides have been... Good with the answers. Mick Meany's made a good bust in the middle of the field. What a terrific run by Nick Meany. He's got them over the halfway. A tremendous bust there by Nick Meany. Grant Hughes, Munster. Now Jack Howard tries to get outside his man. Beautifully pulled down by Kenner. They'll come back the other way. Blore a dummy half. Munster fires it now to Grant. Now to Hughes. Now gets it on. No, he decides to run on this occasion. Six more tackles now here for the Melbourne Storm. Now Key hits it up the centre of the field. And the former Newcastle junior playing 11 metres out. Munster holds it up nicely. Papen who's it out wide to Howard. Now to Anderson. He's over. He's got it on the line. But the referee will go upstairs and check. I think he's got this on the line. The referee's ruled it no try. But I'm sure that he's ground this football. Let's have a look. I think he's got this on the line. I think this will be a try. Sure, there's got a bit of chalk, a bit of ball in that chalk there. 
I'm sure that Melbourne will go in front 10 points to 4. Ashley Klein surely can see that there's a bit of ball on the chalk. This should be a try. That has to be a try. He surely, as he's... Well, he say he's held up, but I'm sure he's got the ball down there somehow. Well, Craig Bell isn't happy with that. So it's no try. I'm sure he got that ball on the line. There had to be some part of that Steeden that would have got to that try line. Has to be. Yeah, I think he's got that down anyway. Back to the action now. As now... That's Alex McDonald has come on the field. Plays the ball now. Hughes. Summer Solomon running, charging towards the goalpost there. Well, the Melbourne Storm looking to go in for a double here. Hughes. Pulled down on that occasion. Three metres out from the line. Last tackle. Hughes again with the bob. It's not a bad kick here by Hughes. That's knocked on there by Myers. Hughes for the line. No try, but they'll get the ball back. They'll play it 10 metres. It'll be six to go. Well, the young man dropped the ball as he went for the bob. And Jerome Hughes never got it down. This time, it was definitely held up over the line. There's no way that ball was going to hit the ground on that occasion. So they go short again to McDonald. He's a hard worker, Alec McDonald. He's five metres out. They go to the right of Sama Solomon. He's got it down. I think he has. He celebrates. He got up. He slams it down. They won't deny him this time. And Melbourne have got in for their second try. Well, he's so big. So strong. And he's five metres out. And you've got a little man fending up against him. You're not going to stop him. He went straight between Sean Kepi. And also Michael Cheekham. And he slams it down, this this giant of a man. To go to a six-point lay down for the Melbourne Storm. He's at the starting side tonight, Nelson. And this big giant here from New Zealand gets another try. So ten points to four. Well... They've been doing that all night. King, Asafa Solomon and Gama Kamifa. Alec Nadal had a strong run earlier. And in the next tackle, Nelson Solomon just said, get out of my way. Gets it down. Goes between two defenders. No chance for the little Jai Gray at the back. And Melbourne. Have a chance to go to a 12 points to 4 lead. Here on live streaming here on Simply Rugby League. So, Nick Meany has no trouble with goal kicking tonight. He's given them easy kicks. He's got that one. So, 12 points to 4 is the score. So, just remember also that we've got a couple of games coming up too. So, we've got Parramatta and Penrith tomorrow night. That's the Battle of the West, number 2. Well, in round two, it was Penrith that beat Parramatta. Can Parramatta cause another upset like they did last week against the Warriors in New Zealand? Also have match highlights and a full match replay of this game too. And that will be also the same for tomorrow night's games as well. So, it's a good start here for the Melbourne Storm. 12 points of four in this first half. These big forwards have been leading the way so far. But there's been some strong running there. It's also from guys like Jack Howe on one, on one side of the field and Nick Meany. That's assisted them out. And we've got another penalty here to uh, the Melbourne Storm this time. So, slowly play the ball. Well, this is so handy here for Melbourne. They score points and now they get a penalty. And they'll start on the halfway. Grant. Munster. Looking to go out the back, but he goes short. Kings play the ball. 
Lyra gives it on. Curious. There's a suffer soul miner. Where his ears will be pricked up now. He's got his good pills on tonight. A suffer soul miner. Hughes. Monster. Blort. He can't get his big mitts out. Get his big mitts off like that one. They're going to come back the other way. No, they stayed the blind. It wasn't a great pass. It rolls along the ground. It was a forward pass. Harry Grant got so confused there. He got all his angles wrong at dummy half. He was passing towards the quarter post instead of the intended receiver on that occasion. We'd well, like to have that one back there, Harry Grant. Uh, he might have actually hit his own player. He's the man playing the football. That's probably why I got it all wrong. Well, he like a mulligan for that one, Harry Grant. So don't forget, if you want to have your say, leave in the live chat. Okay, the blind here, South City from the scrub. Ends up with Tane Mill now. Well, Big Dells of Suffer Soul Mine was trying to rake that one out. Oh, a good old tie there on that side of the ground. Well, it was Nelson Suffer Soul Mine offside there. The crowd were under pounding there. They thought he was offside. The bar was all up in, in arms. Burgess plays inside Melbourne Territory. Colin Matangi, they got the back to Walker. He's grey. Oh, I had a little juggle there. He was wrapped up quickly by Munster. They'll come back the other way. Here's South Sydney. Cody Walker now, 34 years of age. He's got one season left at the club. Now it's Talos Duncan. Plays the ball and he's just come on. Last tackle. Now a little cheek kick over the top by Cody Walker. Warbrick coming across field. Well, well, Cody Walker had a tremendous year last year, but this year he's been a little bit flat. And you can't blame him after having a big year. Sometimes you can have a bit of a down the following season. But he's still there in 2025 under the coaching of Wayne Bennett, who was there in 2021. Quick play of the ball there. Here's Grant. Gets it straight at Munster. Goes back to Grant. That's another high tackle. It's a penalty again to Melbourne. Jeez, they're giving away a lot of penalties penalty to this game. Both sides. That's three penalties all now. Again, it was a it was Karen Murray this what this time giving away the penalty. We saw him sitting bin there in origin three. But on that occasion it was just a sloppy tackle. So they've had a lot of back to back penalties here, Melbourne. What Melbourne particularly like is having the football in hand. Ball now. Can drag towards the sideline, but he stays at the field of play. 30 metres out. Munster. He decides to run. No success there for the Queensland 5 8. Here's McDonald. Whoa, oh, that's a good shot there by Cameron Murray. He was upset, giving away the penalty. That's another strong run there by the Melbourne Storm. They're only 3 metres out. They're on the back foot here, South City. Hughes with a little kick across. Warbrick will score if the bounce goes his way. He gets the magic bounce. And he goes in for a double. Well, that's tremendous play there by Jerome Hughes. He read that situation beautifully. He saw that Fletcher Miles was weighing off his wing. When Warbrick was outside of him, he puts the kick in behind. He found the open spaces. Jai Gray was also up in the front line there at marker. Beautiful play from Jerome Hughes. That's why he's one of the best halfbacks in the game. He's probably up there with um, Nathan Cleary at the moment. Mitchell Moses is probably another one. But Jerome Hughes read that situation beautifully. And William Warbrick goes in for his second try of the night. So 16 points to four for the competition leaders. And on that situation, well, the South City defence was never regrouped on that left-hand side. And as those quick play of the balls are causing havoc for South City at the moment. They're just running too fast for them and too strong. 
It's like the beat on the Gatorade before this match. They're obviously getting themselves prepared for finals football. 16 points to four. This is the hardest kick for Nick B tonight. Fine, they've just moved a little bit further away from the post. But his goal kicking this year has been sensational. Here he comes here, Nick Meany. And he's hit the upright. I've just mocked him. It's got back in the field of play. I've just mocked you there, Nick Meany. I just told him his goal kick is going well, and I've just put the mock on him. So 16 points to four is the score. Three tries to one. And Melbourne have really dominated this first half with the ball in hand. And it's those quick play of the balls has been the problem also for them. It's just caused them to make a lot more tackles and miss tackles. That's probably the key thing that this Melbourne side want to see. Well, he's been a revelation, William Rawbeck, since he's come to Rugby League. He scored plenty of tries on that right wing. He's also had a chance to play for his country, so... Been a massive rise from World Sevens to Rugby League for William Warbrick. And if Jerome Hughes keeps being involved, he's going to get a lot more tries before the end of this year. Here's Sean Bloor now on the left-hand side. Well, can South stop this momentum at this stage? Tyron Wishart. He's on the field for the first time. He played a bit of 5-8 there while Munster was here. Now, there's a bit of a problem with Damian Cook in back play. He's just limping back towards the defensive line. Last tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Munster puts a lovely little stab kick in off his left boot. Giant Gray. He's had, had to do a bit of hard work to get out of that corner. Jacob Gay Guy. Well... The South City boys will be feeling a bit tired. They're going to have to need some big runs. Some of these big boys are trying to get back on side. Dane Cook is limping back to dummy half here. He's got some trouble here. I don't know if it's a hip flex or something like that. He's just limping at this stage. Or maybe it's just fatigue. Mill now gets a couple of metres. A state of the right. Cody Walker has to run. Fires Richie Kenner back on the inside. Nine short of halfway. Tackle five here for South City. Jack Whiten boots it downfield. Gee, he's got a tremendous boot on him, Jack Whiten. Now Papenhuizen. Dummies. There's another dummy. He just goes straight in the shoulder there, Tane. And he was dumped heavily in that tackle as well. As Hughes has been wrapped up. Warbrick. Well, Anderson getting involved in the action. So a lot of former Newcastle players in both sides tonight. That's one of them. He's a number one running for dummy half in Nick Meany. Five short of halfway. Cut missed to go to before half time. It's 16 to 4 here. The Melbourne Storm is wish up for a dummy. He's gone straight through. Oh, Papanas is in the inside. Shut the gates. He'll go in under the post. He continues his Try scoring streak against the South City Rabbitohs. He loves scoring against this club. Seven tries in six games. He can make it eight in their last seven. Eleven tries to the Melbourne fullback. Wishart throws a big dummy hook line and sink on Jack Whiten. He had two men on the inside. It was it was Pavan Hoosen or Munster, but you always go your speed. Danny puts it underneath the post. Jack Whiten. Tackled fresh air there. There was a couple of other tied South City forwards there who also missed a tackle. He's trying to replicate his dad there, Tyron there of Rod Wishart. And then he finds another speed through Papa Newton who puts under the black dot. Well, they're racing away with his first tie here, the Melbourne Storm. 20 points to four. Well... He spotted some tired forwards there. Smart work by Tyron Wishart. He's played a bit of 5-8 this year. That's what he noticed. He's sort of got into that 13 role a little bit. Because Harry Grant's on the field. But he read this beautifully. Throws a big dummy. Cheekhead misses the tackle. 
as I said, White was tackling in fresh air. And then if you've always got a speech in the inside, well, there's always going to be four points. Which now he's going to turn into six. Nick Meany converts the try. 22 points to four for the from the boys of Victoria. Well, maybe they'll continue the winning streak against this South City side. It's one of the bogey teams for South City since they came back of the competition in 2002. But even before that, they had a terrible record against the Melbourne Storm. And unfortunately, I think it's going to continue the way they're going at this stage. They're going to have to really improve in their second half because they're getting, they're getting absolutely barreled over at the moment. They're just physically too strong for them. They're going to have to change that very quickly with their defense. They're going to be more physical. And they're going to start causing some errors here. Or it's going to be a cakewalk. And possibly the end of their season here for South Sydney. It's been a hard season for South. Obviously they've lost their coach during the year. Jason Demetriou. Obviously a couple of injuries and suspension to Latrell Mitchell and Cameron Murray. Just sort of derailed their season. And it's been a big climb for South since then. But there's still plenty of time to go on this game. We've got three and a bit minutes to go here in this first half. As a Safa Solomon has had a tremendous first half. He's been running over the top of him tonight. He's been weighing for this one. Grant. Straight on to Trent Lario. Held up by Shaq Mitchell's come on for the first time. Supported by the hard-working Cheekham. Tackle five now. Hughes puts up the bomb. It's not a bad kick there from Drew Hughes. And chasing through. Oh, it's been knocked on there by Melbourne. And South to come up with it. And Gay Guy has to come out from his own 10-metre zone. But he's finally been put down there by Sean Bloor. Bill now a dummy half. He's only going to pull down on the 20. That was Rake Shaw. That's got to be a penalty to South Sydney. No, he's going to come up and play the ball. Well, Sass would like the penalty there. Kenner. Took a dummy half. This is Duncan. He's just a clone of Cameron Murray. Every time you see Talith Duncan playing out there, he's just a Cameron Murray of the future. Burgess. Hits it upfield. His last year with the club. Walker out wide to Gray. There's numbers here. Kenner taps it on nice. It's gone forward. Todd Smith picked it up very quickly. Well, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, then press on that subscribe and then press on the bell so you know when the latest streaming is up. Well, one game that we're going to be streaming is Parramatta and Pedriff tomorrow night from Western City Stadium, 7.50pm live. That's in Australia. Check your local guides. Thanks for your comments there too. Dickinson Peter. So we're in the dying minutes of this first half. They'll try to push at the scrum there. They've got a they've got a winger trying to feed the ball in. So they're gonna just try and push the ball nice and wide here. They're all lined up to the right. Hughes. He just throws a dummy, but they've plugged the gap there nicely. So, tw 22 points to 4. Melbourne leading here with 90 seconds left on the clock. Warbeck running now inside South Territory. Granite dummy half. Wishart straight to Sean Bloor. Pops it out the back to Munster. Gets it now on to McDonald. That's a great juggling act there by McDonald. It's going to be held up here. 35 out from the South line. We're now within side the last bit of this first half. Melbourne can go in again. Oh, and the Suffer Soul Motor puts it down. Nice short ball from Hughes. But no chance there for Big Nelson to hang on to that one. Even those big arms and hands couldn't hang on to that football. Well, will Melbourne go over it in the second half? Or can South bring a fight back to survive their season? So, so there's the ladder at the boat for South Sydney. Now, the Roosters have got the bye, so that's not going to change much for them. So, really, it's all down to 
matches from now on in if they don't win tonight. It's going to be hard work for South Sydney. If they, they've got to rely on results as White puts a kick downfield here. This will be maybe the last play of the first half. As now, Warbrick comes back. Floats it over the top here to Munster. He gets it now out wide to Anderson. Gets it to Howard. And this will be the last play of the first half. So, Melbourne have dominated the first half. And a big display through their big forwards. Josh King, Nelson Asafa Solomon in particular. Tuigama Kamifa. And then obviously the hard-working players of Trent Lillero and Sean Bloor. Too much class in the back line that first half. Ryan Pappenhusen got one. Warbrick got a double. And Nelson Asafa Solomon also got a try as well. Three from four for Nick Meany and a try for young Fletcher Myers. A 90 metre intercept try. At least puts a respectable in the ball for South Sydney. So, half time here. It is 22 points to four for the man of the match at the end of this game. So, we get it underway here for the second half. I think for South City, they're just going to have to play gutsy rugby league now. They're going to just throw the they're going to throw the kitchen sink at this. They're going to just have to play attacking football. They're going to be hard in defence because I believe that that's the only way you can beat this Melbourne Storm. You can just go and throw the ball around. You can't play conservative football. Dole now they get it on there to Larry. What a first half he had. He's just continuing off being in that Queensland state of origin side. Wish up. Well, he knew he went through a game. Last tackle now here for the Melbourne Storm. Hughes. There goes the Bob. It's not a bad one. And it's beautifully taken there by Jai Gray. Well, they might need a little bit of spark here from Jai Gray with the likes of White and Walker. When Latrell Mitchell is there, that's where they score all their points. It's a big ass on young Jai, but they're going to provide something there. Kenner now. He's held up 15 out from his own line. It's only the third tackle here for South Sydney. Early starts of the second half. Here they go again, South Sydney on the blight. Cheekhead. Makes handy meters. Last tackle. I'd like to have you say, leave in the chat as well as we see a driving kick down field there from Jack White. And, and here they come back here, Melbourne, through Anderson out of Pappenhausen, who puts the foot down. He's away. He's got support inside and out. He finds it inside of Grant Anderson. And the Melbourne score must score first in the second half. 26 points to four. And that removes all doubt of a comeback now for South Sydney. And from that sort of play, the Melbourne Storm are looking to go on with this. Well, they went for a kick down the middle of the field there, South Sydney in the last. But unfortunately, they went around the outside there in Papenhuizen. He beat two defenders. And he had Howe on one wing, Anderson on the inside. And Grant Anderson, who is known to score tries, is done again. Beautiful combination there. They just didn't come up there, South Sydney. They didn't make their tackles. And, and that's what happens when you do that against this hot Melbourne Storm side. Ryan Pappenhuizen only just needs a whiff of air and he's got. And that's what happened there. Back on the inside. Came, who comes Grant Anderson, who's also got plenty of pace. And, he, and they go in for try number five. 26 points to four. A great start to the second half. For the Melbourne Storm, so they've just come out after the break as they started the as they did in the first half. Meaning on this left hand side, and he's sprayed just to the left, so no goal. 
26 points to four. Well, for all your Melbourne Storm fans, it's a good start to the second half. Just looking at the weather again, no change. This is again a beautiful night. Here in Sydney, it's been a beautiful conditions actually along the east coast actually in Australia, particularly New South Wales. It's been like a spring day today. Spring's coming early here to Sydney tonight. Usually it's very cold and dewy here, here at the state of Australia. Not a big crowd, but to support their team, but unfortunately they're way behind on the scoreboard at this stage, but can they get some tries on the board before the end of this game? Just give them a big cheer. Larry plays the ball. Grant goes to a dummy half. He's up the middle of the field. Sure, that's a pen on their cheek. He was never on side there at marker. But good meters anyway by Harry Grant. That's what he's so good at. A soccer sole motor now. He was rampaging in that first half. And he wants a rampage again. Oh, did Grant lose the ball at dummy half? No. Now we shot. Makes handy meters there. Pulled down by Burns and Shaq Mitchell. Last tackle. Nice little dinking kick in behind the line, but it might roll too long. It will. Yep. So, a 20 meter restart. At times, that ball was just rolled on too far. So, the must have shortened the grass here at Stadium Australia. So, maybe teams that play here at Stadium Australia in the next couple of weeks will have to be prepared that this ball will go very long, whether in the day or night. Tails Duncan now. One of the next second rowers and loose forwards of the future. Mitchell now. And when I say Mitchell, it's a Shaq who'll play the ball inside Melbourne's territory. And as he's trying to get to play the ball, he's lost it. Thanks, Tepi. Or Tepi. And another error against South Sydney. And now there's a penalty for dissent. Well, that's just rubbing salt in the wounds. It's not a very happy South City bench. So that's four penalties of three now to the Melbourne Storm. Well, at one stage, the Melbourne Storm uh, give away a lot of penalties, but they're now in front on the penalty count. Howarth, charging forward. He's, he's so strong, he's got the ball in hand, Jack Howarth. Blah, just gets dumped and pushed into the ground. That's a great shot by the skipper, Cameron Murray. He's angry about his team's performance tonight. He's probably angry at his own performance. Lario, 15 metres out from the line, centre field. I come to the right. Hughes, Warbreak now. Sure, that's got to be a penalty here to South Sydney. No, the referee said play on. I thought there was a player taken out in the defensive line. Hughes with the ball. Out the back to Harry Grant. He plays like a 5'8". Munzer puts a stab kick in. And Gay Guy is taking it back into the into the end goal here. And he's being tackled. So it's a line drop out. That's what Todd Smith, Todd Smith said as well. Thanks, Josephine. And that's the first line drop out of the night. Once again, a smart kick by Cameron Munster. He might not execute the way he liked it, but he got the right. Op he got the option he wanted at the end of the day. Cook now going for a short dropout. He goes nice and high, and South have got it back through Duncan. Flops it at the back to Cook. It's been knocked out by Munster, so that'll be a scrum to South City. It's a knock on. Well, at least Sounds are trying something there. I don't, I don't, I didn't mind that at all when they tried to attack there. Tails Duncan just threw it at the back. And then they had the numbers out on that right hand side there, South Sydney. And Munster had to knock that down. So. 
remembering we've got we've got our footy tips there also on the socials. So if you're in a footy tipping competition, you'd like to know how I've tipped, head over to the so head over to the socials after this game tonight. So out the back they go now from Darker. That's a lovely short ball from Walker to Murray on the 30 meter line. They're only into the ground. They stay on that same side. Walker, nice ball again, but was it forward to Kenna? Referee said it was line ball. They're going to be tackled on the halfway. They come back open side. Walker, lovely, lovely short ball again. This time they've gone without it, South Sydney. And so we're going to have another scrub. It's just got a bit sloppy in the last minute or so. I don't think Crow Bell will be happy with his tee there. Being sloppy, but he doesn't want to, They don't want to get a bit too complacent here. They've got to really not let South City just throw the ball around willy nilly. South City got nothing to lose. I'll show you that's what Ben Horby just got out and said. We just got nothing to lose, guys. Your season's on the line. You've got to show a bit of ticker in this one. And it's got to now show on defense because they're going to have to defend that loose ball. Well, it's a big line up to the right. They decided just to run the ball there. I was very surprised they didn't just shuffle it to the right there. They have to stay in the middle of the field here. McDonald. Great 10 minute start here in the second half for Melbourne. 26 points to four. Larry playing the ball now. Wishart out the back down to Hughes. Well, the, he was hassled there by two defenders. They stay to the blind. Papenhuizen throws a dummy. Dumped onto the turf now. That's a good tackle from young Tavis Duncan. Good stuff there, there by Tavis Duncan. Hughes with the bob on the last tackle. Up they go. Is this a summer solo looking for his second? Well, has he become the new Lindsay Collins all of a sudden? He's chasing after kicks and scoring off them. Well, it was a good chase for the big fella. He's always going to now jump them. Well, Jai Graves, Jai Graves like a guard gnome compared to um, a suffer soul owner. And he nearly, he nearly got his second try. Well, he's certainly pumped up tonight. So South City working out their own territory. Duncan, they're going to attack again here. Whiten, great. Gets it quickly now to Mill. Decide to go himself. And he gets them five short of halfway. So they're trying to show a bit of enterprise here, South City, in the second half. Oh, that's a good shot there on Cheekham, but he got the ball away to Mitchell. Now to Walker, run around there from Murray. And it's been put down by South, and Melbourne come up with the football. Wishart, inside ball to Alec McDonald. Well, I think that this is going to be what South City's going to do in the second half. It's going to entertain the crowd. Munster, Sean Bloor. Well... They're inside the South Fury and looking to go in for another four-pointer here. W Wishart. Goodbye with Hughes. And, man, he's gone without the football. They've really up, they've really up the defence too here. South City in the second half as well. He really felt that one, Nick Meany. Myers coming off his wing. Only point on the board in this second half. Bill, grafting right up to halfway. It's a little bit of a fight here from South Sydney in the second half. I know they're behind on the scoreboard. Cook, Walker, Gray, Kenner. 29 metres out from the line. Switch it back the other way. Gray, Cook, switch it now to Burgess. He's held up. Just short of the 20. They go to the blind. Marmazoulis comes on. A little kick from Gray. And yes, Anderson had to take the ball dead there for Melbourne. So it's a line dropout. 
So South City may get the ball back here or, or will Massa look for the short one? Well, I don't think Anderson knew that there was no one coming for him. He took the safe option. He may he might have had a bit more time. He let that ball go dead. So Pappet Hoods is going to take the short drop out. He's looking to get the ball back for his team. Mamali Grubber off the ground and Ken has got it. Just inside Melbourne's 20. So Walker's there now with the ball. Gets it to Burgess. Takes a set lap. Pull down that time. By Vay Lupu. Who's on the field now? So South City will play it. 10 metres out from the line. Marmazillas. Cook. Walker. Out the back to Gray. They got him quickly. They're the Melbourne defence. They come back in the middle of the field to Murray. Nine metres out from the line. Pulled out there by Murray. And by Bloor and Munster. Last tackle now. They're going to run here. A oh, beautiful pass through the legs from Milne. And Myers goes in for a double. But what about the pass there from Tardane Milne? Magical stuff from the South City centre. We, we know he loves to like the football. We, we did know he had a magic trick there as well. Well, they decided to run on the last year, South City. Mitchell got it quickly. Along the line. Magical pass through his legs there, Mill. And Myers goes in for his second try. So both the wingers for, have scored a double tonight. Myers and Warbrick will play on the same side. A beautiful Pass through the legs by Tane Milne. And Fletcher Myers goes in for a double. Well, he scored his first ever try tonight. And now he's got a double to remember. And Tane Milne showing his silky skills there. Well, he might as well... Well, they were at Las Vegas earlier in the year. He certainly showed a magic trick on that one. And Fletcher Myers has a chance... To make it possibly 26 points to 10. Well, he's kicking against the wind, but there's not much wind out there. So I don't think the wind's going to be a factor on his preferred side. He's just in from the sideline. He's about 24 metres out. He's got a bit of a... He's got some... He's got a guard on his um, quads. He's got, also got some sort of quad issue. Hopefully that's not going to affect his goal kicking for the youngster. Well, he clicked one from two last week. That's not a bad kick from Fletcher Myers. He's got it. So he scored all his team's points in this game. 26 points to 10. Well... I didn't know Tane Milne had that in his game. But sometimes these Fijians can come up with some magic when it's never, ever on. Well, some people might say it's not over for South City yet. But We'll wait and see. Well, a try at least. Well, at least they've got a try. The only problems they can see are the first try of the second half to Grant Anderson. But another try and might make might make Craig Bell in Melbourne just to start to think about things. Cook. McDonald's got a, he's going up the tunnel, so he's got an injury problem. We'll, we'll come back to you to find out what that is. Walking to the left, out the back, the white. He's grey. Beats the tackle, but then he's pulled down quickly by Hughes in the second line defence. South City going up for white and the Mitchell wreck around. Here's Walker. Dragged on the halfway. Last tackle. Mitchell's got the boy, decides to put a kick in. It's not a bad kick. And Moore breaks away. Gets it up to the half break. 
I've never seen Shaq Mitchell kick the ball in my life. It wasn't a bad kick from Shaq Mitchell, but... It... But a magical bounce there for William Warbrick. Many will now play it. Marks their first receiver. Blow up. Oh, they've got without the football. Melbourne, and it goes over the sideline. Well, Craig Bellby would not be happy with that passage of play at all. Well, Craig Bellamy would not be happy with the second half at all. He's furious at the box at the moment. He was soon walking to the back of the box to calm himself down. That was a... Well, Jack Howe just forgot to catch the football on that occasion. They got a little bit complacent this second half, I think, after Grant Anson scored that try. They're going to have to find a way to get out of it here, Melbourne Storm. Because they might get one ugly fright. From the home side. There's not much of a home crowd here, but they'll certainly give some cheer to get their side home. Probably the most parochial fan base in the game of rugby league. Mitchell plays the ball. Cook. Walker. White and he can create some damage. 40 metres out for the Melbourne line. Milne. He goes Cheekham. Out the back to Cook. He's certainly got an injury problem. He's, he's laying at something again. He's, he's got some problem down. I don't know if it's an arm or an elbow. But it's a big problem out there. Murray plays the ball. This is tackle five. Cook goes back the other way. White with a little stack kick in. Oh, it's knocked on there by Pappenhusen. And Melbourne just looked flat as a tackle all of a sudden. They're going to sleep here. They're having a little snooze. They're going to have to get out of this trance a little bit. South City are just gaining a little bit of momentum here. 26 points to 10. South City got a scrum. 15 out for the Melbourne line. Can they go back to back here? Jacob Gay Guy, I don't know if he's fed the ball in his life in a scrum. He's going to feed it from the back. Now they go to Walker. Whiten. Dragged down by Hughes. Fancy your comments, James. They come to the right. Cook. Inside ball out of Burgess. Still going, Thomas Burgess. Dragged down that time from Lazarus Valepu. Whiten out the back to Gray. Gray. Still going. Was it high the tackle? The crowd won a penalty. He's going to get up to play the ball. Here they go for a dummy half. Has he got it down? No, he's held up short. An hour gone in the game. South's on the attack. Hook. Now walk up. Now it gets on to Kenner. Great ball, ball defense that time by Jack Howarth. Tackle five now, says Todd Smith. Cody Walker with the ball. A crossfield kick in the middle field. Tap backwards by Cheekham. They've gone back with 20 metres in Melbourne to come up with the football. Munster's going to play it inside his own 40. And Wishart now darts in the middle of the field and some heavy body contact. So 26 points to 10. Melbourne are in front. 22 to 4 was a half time score. Well, Melbourne just need another try to really seal the deal here tonight. King flops out the back to Munster. Now Jack Howarth recovers from an earlier error. He's been so strong with his running tonight. They go back to the blind for his short ball. Ball still going. Put down from behind by Cody Walker. He's four metres out from the line. Last tackle now. A crossfield kick in. It's too big. It wasn't It wasn't the, the best end of the set. And Fletcher buys his flying back to the 20 metre line. The crowd want a poundy here. They're not going to get it. And they've made 20 metres from that run. A tremendous run for the young winger. He scored all their team's points so far tonight. Ten of them. Two tries and a goal. 
Now Whiten on the inside. They've got a quick play of the ball here, South Sydney. Cheekham flops it out the back, but it's going to go past everyone and into touch. Exciting game of rugby league here from South Sydney. They're not going to die wondering. This is good to see. I know they're making a lot of errors, but they're making a lot more yardage in this second half. They're forcing Melbourne with more mistakes. And that's been the difference to me. I think that they've sort of equaled up with Melbourne in the yardage, but Melbourne is still on top. Josh King is back out there. He's made some big plays in this second half since he's been back on. Solid play from since he's been from the Newcastle Knights. He's Lazarus now. Lazarus via Lupu. Wishart. Hughes, he's, he's now some soft, soft for sole motor again. What a night he's had, the big fella. 30 metres out from the line. Fourth tackle gone. King, short now to Wishart. He's just roving out on the field now. Last tackle now. Hughes has got the ball again. He goes in with one of his conventional crossfield kicks. Warbrick has got it. Gets it out back to Meany. He's wrapped up. Now, this will be... I think this may be one of the first handovers of the night. Well, at least Melbourne has conceded the last tackle where exactly they want it instead of the opposition's 10. This, they've got some giants in this Melbourne side. You've got Nelson Soffa Solmona. You've got Tumi Gamma Gamifa. You've got this young Lazarus Valepu. Well, Souths are going to attack here through Kenner on the right-hand side. Walker. Cook. Whiten. Gray. Long cut-out pass there to Mines. The pass has gone forward. Well, the referee's called it up. So, we're going to come back for a scrub. Well, the crowd wanted to see some action there. As I said, it's not been a big crowd here tonight at State of Australia for this Thursday night football here in Simply Rugby League. Scoreline is 26 points to 10. Well, William Warbrick's got two tries for Melbourne. Pappenhusen, Anderson, and a Suffer Solomona. And we've got a penalty now here. And Tane Mills put on a report for a trip against Ryan Pappenhusen that was played late in the count. So when Pappenhusen didn't hear the whistle, he actually put a chick kick in and he just stripped him. Why is he not seen me? I don't know. That could have seriously hurt Pappenhusen. We know about his ankle knee injuries. Put them in the bin. They'll learn their lesson. A summer Solomona starts the new set on the, on the South 30. Hughes. King. He's just going to have to surrender here. He'll give away a penalty for obstruction. A little leg lift as well there by Peter Mamazoulis with the, the starting nine there. Cook. Now big Lazarus. Lazarus Valepu. Playing the ball now. They come to the left. Massa comes back in the middle of the field. Dragged down quickly there. Ran a dummy half. Papin who's it? He puts a kick through. Gray's back there to come up, but he's not going to get back on the field to play. So, he comes a short drop out, and Souths will probably go for this contest. But once again, Melbourne, sharpening the, they just sharpen the saw there. So, they go for the short one. It's very, very high. It's not a, It's not actually a bad kicking style for a short dropout. And Melbourne's come up through Warbrick. He's looking for three tries tonight. And so Melbourne are going to attacking set inside their opposition 10 now. Hughes, Wishart, Munster. Steps back inside off his left foot. Grant. Here's Wishart. Wishart. 
Nah, he's going to be held up this time. Oh, was there nearly a tackle there for a hip drop? He pulled out of that one there, Marvizelos. Marcina Pappet hurts it now to Sean Blorp. Well, they haven't got Katar in the side or not. He's the one that usually scores tries. They go to the blind Pappet, who's then puts the ball to boot. And Kenna takes a very sharp catch. Well, back Pat would be proud of that. And now they've got a penalty here, South City. They're all offside there, the Melbourne Storm defence. Well, that was enough except by Melbourne at all. I don't think Craig Bell would be very happy with this second half. Nope, he's gone to the back of the box again. He is not happy. He won't be happy with this complacency in this second half and their intensity. If you'd like to have your say, leave in the chat. We've got approximately around 12 minutes left of the clock. 16-point margin here for the competition leaders of the Melbourne Storm. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. Yeah, well, there was two men to tackle. Munster then just rips it out. Munster thought they all they all came out. I don't think he realised. Well, they're going to have a captain's challenge. But I'm sure there was a couple of men in the tackle, and then he did realise, and he ripped the ball out. Well, the other thing is the referee's called held. Let's have a look. So, is someone held there? I don't think he's held. I don't think I don't think Jack Howe's actually hanging on to anyone. Yeah, that's the question. Now, did Jack Howe get involved? Well, he's knocked it on. So he's, they say he stripped it, and he's lost it as he's trying to strip it. So. They got a successful challenge, but it's going to be a South City ball anyway. So he's trying to pickpocket him, but he's lost the ball trying to do it. So it's not going to—it's not going to be a penalty. So. So Alec McDonald's come back and he's all good to go. So if he wants to come back on tonight, be interesting how many interchanges they got both sides. Well, so we've got three interchanges left. As they tack to the left-hand side here through to Grave there from Whiten. Melbourne has got four interchanges left. So there's still plenty of interchanges up their sleeve here for both sides. South play in the middle of the field now. White deciding to run. Steps back through a couple. There's David Malau. He's, he's one of the interchanges. And he'll play it now. 15 metres out from the line. They go left to right. They go to the left through White. And, uh, and he goes about the football. And that's another error added to the tally sheet tonight. There for the South City side. 11 errors each. Well, that's 12 to 11. That's, that will not, that's why Craig Bellamy is not pleased at the moment. I can understand for South City, but a side that's at the top of the ladder caught, dropping the ball 11 times is not good enough in this game. But they're going to go home with the points, I think. They're just too professional at the moment. Oh, there's another one. Chris Lewis has come on. He's dropped the football with his first touch. Well, Craig Bellby might need to have another walk. He gets very emotional in the box, Craig Bellby. Dear, oh dear. Now, I'm surprised here that Craig Bellie hasn't decided to rest some of his players here. Make sure they don't get hurt out there. Well, Harry Grant's still out there. Puppethoos is still out there. Butts is still out there. I wonder if Jerome Hughes is still out there too. So they stay the left here. Bill's going to be put down. 20 metres out from the line. Well, can they go in for try number three? He says, Miley again. Nearly broke the wall on that occasion. Cook 
Six more tackles out for South. Murray, they might not see six more tackles. And that was loose defense on the trial there by the Melbourne Storm. And South City have gone for in for another try. The skipper gets one. And it's 26 to 14. With plenty of time remaining here at Stadium Australia. Well, it was just a simple ball back on the inside from Walker. There was some lazy defense from Harry Grant. That's very unlike Harry Grant. He's probably had to make a lot of tackles in this game. Which he did in the first half of Melbourne. It was a simple one-on-one -on -one miss. He'll be very disappointed. The skipper of the side. It was captain on captain. And it was the South City captain who succeeded. And he's got his side back to a 12-point margin. They're not going away here, South City. Well, the time is ticking away here, so they want to be kick they want to be kicking for goal as quick as you as usual. That's a good kick there from Fletcher Myers. Twenty six to sixteen. They're not going away with this one. Where we are in the four quarters of the world. Hope you're enjoying it. If you love this video, press on that like button. And there's plenty of more action here on Simply Rugby League. So if you press on that subscribe, you'll see this game and all the full match replay and match highlights if you want to watch it again. Also, the footy tips are also out on my socials too for the, all the other games. Of round 23. So. Burgess. South City. Another try. And we've got a ball go on our hands. They go to the blind side. From the latest try scorer in Murray. 10 short of halfway. Marmazels. Cook. Walker. Milne. Now nah, you decide to take the tackle. Good stuff there by Meany. They're just throwing the ball side to side here, South City. Oh, there's an error. And Grant has come up with it. And he's away, Harry Grant. Has he got the pace? No, Cody Walker angle tapped him from behind. 15 metres out. Well, they're just shuffling to the left. Wishart decided to straighten it up. 15 metres out. Well, can they put the cue in the rack here now, Melbourne? Trent Lillario, what a game he's had. He's been the hard-working horse of the side. The Safa Solomon has been the most damaging. Hughes. Munster. Pappenhusen. Inside ball now. Jack Howarth. The former Newcastle junior. Three metres out from the line. This is the third tackle. Deep now. Grant, we've got six more tackles. That's what Melbourne wanted. They're all offside there, South Sydney. Well, this just soaks up time on the clock here for the Melbourne Storm. King. Hughes and Master combining. He's such a day to this South Sydney side. Valerio. Grant. Hughes. Hughes. Still going, Hughes. Held up there by Mulally and Cook. Well, he didn't want to be stopped there, Jerome Hughes. Deep down to Munster. Pappenhusen, he had to go himself. He's still going. Oh, we knew he gets to the line himself. Two metres out, he can see the chalk from there. Munster, Lillario, beats one. Gets it back to Munster, beats one. Finally been put to ground. Five metres out. This is tackle five now. Five and a half minutes left on the clock. Hughes is starting to go with a crossfield kick to Warbrick. Oh, he's lost the football, Warbrick. And uh, this should be a 20-metre restart. No, he's saying it's South City knock on first. I wouldn't be surprised. I've got a captain's challenge here. Yep, they're going for a captain's challenge. I'm sure that... I'm sure that had to come off. Melbourne first. It's surely come a William Warbrick first and then a South City head. Let's have a look. 
No, I think he's got... Well, I think he's got it right here, the referee. No, they've got... No, it was a knock on against Warbrick first, so... Well... It is a handover. So South City got to go 90 metres here. They're 10 points behind, but we've seen South City do this many times in the past. So Melbourne can't shut up shop here. They've shown that they want to throw this ball around the second half. They've been very successful on a couple of occasions. Miley playing the ball. It's Kyle Matagi. He's been a bit quiet in this second half. He hasn't had that impact like he had a little bit in the in some of the games he's played this year. Since boo that 13 roll. Cook. Walker. Murray. He stepped up in the last 10 minutes or so. They go to the blind. Whiten. Now Kenna. Nearly an open pasture. 20 metres out for the line. Papenhusen was in the front line. Last tackle. They're going to attack here, South. Mother's Ellis. Walker with a little kick through. And Warbrick. Makes a big run. Up to the 10 meter line. The referee got in the way there, Peter. Mamazoulis. He's just trying to make a tackle. Well. As the sets add up, it's going to be more likely to be a Melbourne victory. It's been a lot better second half from South Sydney. They decide to play the attacking game. They've come up with points. Grand down the blight. Munster. Munster's gone straight through. Now Pappen has it on the inside. Last tackle. 35 out. Hughes. He's going to run. You don't rush up with Jerome Hughes. King flicks it out to McDonald. Now back to Nick Meany. Now gets it out now to Chris Lewis. He puts a kick in. And it's not badly placed. And Gray. It's done tremendously well to get back into the field of play. Good work there from John Gray. And now they got themselves a penalty. South Sydney. Well. Well, they did need that penalty, but... It was tremendous work on the last. They just kept the ball live there, Melbourne. And John Gray did tremendously well. To get back in the field of play. Beat a couple. So we've got a couple of minutes left on the clock. And William Warbrick's been put on a report. I think if it's for a high tackle. And also, there's another player put on report as well. So, for touching the referee as well. So, that's the Marmozellus one. I hope he doesn't get signed for that. We did see a player be out for a week or so for touching a referee. I hope that's not the case. But anyway, Kepi's in the middle of the field. This is what we want to see. We want to see a grandstand finish here. Even if it's two teams are at opposite ends of the ladder. This is Whiten now. And the game has been stopped. I think someone's going to come off the field. They need a HIA. Yep. So he's pointed to Jai Gray. It was probably when he got tackled there heavily, just short of his own, when he got back to the field to play. So just going through the next couple of games, so South will have to play the West Tigers away, then Newcastle at home, Penrith away, and then obviously the Roosters back here at home at in round 27. So for the... We'll come back to the action in a moment. This is Cook. Now Walker. Murray. Wrapped up. Last tackle now here for the Bunnies. Cook. Walker. It's gone straight through. Puts a kick through. And it's going to roll too deep. So we've got a 20 meter restart. And that will seal the fate I think for South now. So we've got a 20-meter tap 
So, Melbourne's next games. Will they play Penrith here next Thursday night? In Penrith, you'll see that on Simply Rugby League. Then the Dolphins at home. Then North Queensland on a Friday night in round 26. That'll be also Simply Rugby League and Brisbane away from home in the last round of the season. So, if you're a South Sydney or Melbourne Storm supporter, you'll see some of the games are in Simply Rugby League. So, it's very important to subscribe and then press on that bell so you know when those games are rolling. They go to the blind here, Melbourne. This is Buster. Time is ticking away. And we've got another penalty. That will still fade a high tackle. So we've got a shot for penalty goal coming up. So they're going to go for the shot for goal to soak up time. So Melbourne will go to the top of the ladder with 38 points. So, and South City will obviously stay in 15th on 20. But they've got a couple of teams ahead of them that have got some... Games coming up. They hope that they can lose. They're hoping that like, Newcastle can lose to the Tigers. That's one game I know that's happening. So, just while this, while they're ticking down to the end of this game, Nick B lining up for penalty goal to seal this game out. So. Match highlights, full match replay coming soon. Paramount and Penrith tomorrow night at 7.50pm. If you love this video, press on that like button. As I mentioned, the footy tipping is out on on Simply Rugby, or out on my socials as well. So, many lining up for goal. And he slotted it through on full time. So that's it, 28 points to 16, Melbourne Storm with the victors.